Hello and welcome to 3 Dotto TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. You are watching a special episode of Metaverse Magic wherein we bring to you important updates from the Metaverse space at large. With the constant innovative initiatives, Metaverse funding is on fire. Exar Space has raised $25 million in investment to improve the user experience. Metaverse, a Metaverse platform, recently closed a $7.6 million round to further build its enterprise Metaverse platform. Furthermore, Metagravity has raised $9.5 million to construct a Metaverse platform. Also, according to Fortune Business Insights, the worldwide Metaverse market will be worth $1,527.55 billion in 2029. With all this happening in the world of Metaverse, it is gaining traction day by day. So, let's look at the important events that made headlines. Africa Rare Africa's first Metaverse will hold the A360 Metaverse Space Adventure where participants will be able to study from A360's visionaries in Ubuntu land in a self-paced learning style from June 5 to June 9. Diamandis and the A360 speakers will deliver cutting-edge ideas in a customized Metaverse experience to assist participants utilize technologies and alter their businesses and build moonshot projects. There are two ways to participate, complete package access or individual tracks. Ticket holders with the full access package have access to all five learning tracks and can explore one every day. Individual track access allows individuals to choose which topics most interest them. In addition, all participants will have the opportunity to journey across space in 90-minute virtual reality sessions via an amazing immersive simulation. Well, Africa Rare is poised to connect Africa to the global digital economy. So let's hear what Mr. McMahon, co-founder and CEO of Africa Rare, has to say about Metaverse and what it means to Africa. So for us, uh, the Metaverse is the greatest equalizer. We see it as uh, an amazing opportunity for anyone in Africa to really uplift themselves, to showcase their creativity and their ingenuity, and to really connect with the global digital economy in a much more immersive 3D uh, manner, where you can you know, create different social applications, you can create uh, entertainment, retail, commerce, and for us, it's really about digital ownership because for the first time, because of the blockchain and virtual and augmented reality, we can actually now uh, have true digital ownership in the world because you can prove that you own a digital asset uh, on the blockchain that no one else owns. Uh, just like when we had physical property rights coming to the world and you could own physical property when you knew that it wasn't going to get it taken away from you, you would innovate on that physical land. You would create you know, a, a farm or a hotel or create value out of that. Now we have the opportunity to do so in the digital format and Africans are primed to take this opportunity. Snap is now hoping to improve your shopping experience by offering augmented reality products in the physical world. Yes, Snap plans to put augmented reality mirrors in stores, allowing shoppers in stores to instantly see how close look on them without physically trying them on. The mirrors will be available at certain Nike stores in the United States later this year. The company also revealed at its annual partner summit in Santa Monica, California that it will offer AR solutions for music festivals and vending machines. The idea is for individuals to spend their time more efficiently in the real world rather than immersing themselves in a virtual one. Well, tech giants are leaving no stone unturned in providing the best experience to the users. Despite the fact that lawmakers and children's rights activists had urged Meta to abandon its plans to open a platform to young users, it has still opened up its social VR space Horizon Worlds for teens. Horizon World will now be available to teen users in the United States and Canada after previously being restricted to those 18 and older. As part of the expansion, the company claims it would implement a set of age-appropriate safeguards and default safety settings. Teens can pick who they follow and who can follow them back and their profiles are made private by default, allowing them to approve or deny anyone who wishes to follow them. 
By default, Meta does not display a teen's active status or horizon world's location to other people, but teens can adjust these settings so that their connections can know if they are active online and which public world or even they are in. Meta is also contemplating another layoff in the near future. As Zuckerberg and colleagues turn their focus to AI, financing is required elsewhere, so layoffs will eventually reach Reality Labs and its numerous EXA objectives. And now good news for all PUBG fans out there as Crafton is set to launch NFT Metaverse game this year. Yes, Battlegrounds has not abandoned the Metaverse. In fact, its proposed Web3 Metaverse game platform Megalu is still in the works and is set to launch later this year. Crofton and South Korean augmented reality startup Neewazi have formed a North American joint venture company and invested $36.8 million in Megalu's development. Crofton will hold an 85% share in the partnership, while Neewazi will own the remaining 15%. Megalo is being created by a AAA gaming studio with the goal of providing a create to earn system where players may produce, buy and sell in-game items as NFTs. While little is known about the project, it appears like Megalo's universe will be similar to Roblox but using NFTs. This collaborative drive towards Web3 game services is another example of Asian enterprises building blockchain-powered games and experiences. Well, Metaverse can also be used in the sports industry to create interactive and immersive experiences for users. OKX, a leading Web3 technology company and the world's second largest cryptocurrency exchange by trading volume, has launched Make Your Play, an immersive Metaverse experience in which fans can attend a unique tactical football masterclass with Manchester City captain LK Gundogan. In Create Your Play, he will guide viewers through practice sessions and describe his in-game decision-making strategies. El Kai Gundwan, Manchester City's captain for the 2022-23 season, is known for his tactical football mind and love for coaching. Through the revolutionary virtual environment known as the OKX Collective, fans can participate in Web3 firsthand and receive special content from Manchester City players Alex Greenwood, El Kai Gundwan, Drag Grealish, and Ruben Diaz. Well, that's all in this episode of Metaverse Magic. I will be back with more such interesting updates on Metaverse from all over the world. This is me, Vishakha Thakur, signing off. Do like this video, share, subscribe to TV, and yes, do not forget to press the bell icon to get instant updates.